I didn't mean to hit him. I, I just snapped, Gail. You know me, I'm a, I'm a lover, not a fighter. Never hit a man before 5.39 this evening. Well, you sure picked a fine time to experiment with assault and battery. I ran a blimp lung not long enough, so I was bound to blow. Besides, you always said I should clock the guy. Yeah, but you gave him a black eye. Don't pull me into this, Bo. I need an appropriate distance here now. Sorry, baby, I just snapped. Yeah, I understand that, but if it... Uh, it's all good. Pecker would have it coming, but... Uh, trying to trick you like that? It was unbelievable. Kid had on a wig, talking like he'd never been to college. Yeah, you sure gave him what he ordered. Mm, one American cold cut classic like he never had before. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, hey, hey, let's work on trying to sound remorseful when the press gets here, okay, baby? It, I mean, it's a serious charge. And I'm not proud of it, but sometimes you push a man and he... Well, I don't know. I'm going to leave you here a couple days to think on it. You're not bailing me out? Thomas thinks a couple nights will probably be enough to send the appropriate message. Ba baby, what are you talking about? Wh who is Thomas? He's my new PR man. Oh, what happened to John? John was Bush League. He's uh, Houston Chronicle, Denver Post, Arizona Republic. They're all asking me for interviews. I need somebody who can handle the big leagues, Bo. <sighs> You're leaving me in here? A couple days till we clear it up with blimpies. Like I said, if it was just me, I'd be fine. But it's not just me anymore. You understand me? I'll sure say. Oh, Bo, you know I love you. Hey, don't you go skulking on me, sweet. This is going to give you some time to work on your poetry. Yeah. Betrayal is. Empty is. Empty as a push mower without a blade. Its motor still roars that same serenade. But it cuts nothing. The grass is, grass is deaf to its it cries. Empty as a toy wagon without a boy. Its wheels still squeak that familiar noise. But it carries nothing. The dry leaves know not how they came there. Pull, push, push, pull. I am no longer in control. Empty pushes, empty pulls, empty is all I know. Excuse me, buddy. Hey, bud. <laughs> bud. Uh, sorry, sorry. I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't see you there. Yeah, whatever, man. I'm standing here watching you read your stuff. All right. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Well, welcome to Blimpies. What can I get for you today? Well, uh, let me see here. Uh, let me, uh, hmm. I get that foot long American cold cut classic. You got it. Uh, wheat or white? American cold cut white, of course. And, uh, hey, listen, buddy, uh, put a little extra on it there for me. I can double the meat for a buck ninety nine. No, I, I'm just, uh, come on, man. I'm hungry. Okay, how much you want? Whatever you got to give, man. How about that? Is that enough? Do you like bologna? Huh? How about two pounds of bologna, huh? What do you think about that? You are out of your mind, Portman. And once I put you on this report, you're gonna be out of a job. How about that? Is that enough? How about that? You got enough? You had enough? <laughs> Naomi and I wanna thank you all for coming and uh, give a special shout out to my big sister, Gail for helping us pull all this together so quickly. I told you I'd move hell and creation to get you married to this woman before shipping out. And that you did. As most of you know, me and Naomi uh, start a new tour soon, 
And so we're also grateful to those of you who came from so far on such short notice. For those new to the party, yes, it's common uh, for a couple to deploy together. We'll be stationed in a different camp, but at least we'll be on the same ground. And yes, she does outrank me, and oh yeah, she does make me call her sir. <laughs> that is so untrue. <laughs> Okay, okay, it's kind of true. Ah! <laughs> Seriously, I want to raise a glass to my bride, Naomi, and take a few moments to say uh, a few words to the love of my life. Uh, so uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to wrote this little poem. Oh. Naomi, we are young. Heartache to heartache we stand. No promises, no demands. Love is a battlefield. Are you kidding? Pat Benatar at our wedding? You are so going to get it, and we are not that young. Sorry, honey, but when, when two soldiers get married, love is a battlefield is like uh, having a deal at a Jewish wedding. It's, it's going to happen. So I thought, let's make it ours. Let's set it to our own beat, take control of our destiny. Uh, guys, help me out here. <clears throat> Naomi, I love you. Please, uh, may I have this dance? <laughs> 